What's going on guys, it's your boy Gio here, back at it again with another video. And today we're going to be answering the question if creatine can cause hair loss, if there's any scientific evidence to back up this claim, and the overall breakdown of how and why it works. That said, let's get into it. Also, before I get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It really helps us out and lets me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. So in order to answer the question, does creatine cause hair loss? We need to understand what creatine is and how it functions. Creatine is an amino acid and its structure is formed by organic compounds that are essential for the formation of proteins. It is a tripeptide, meaning that it is made up of three amino acids put together. Our bodies are capable of producing this naturally, and it is found naturally in foods, almost exclusively in raw meat. However, even if you're eating an abundance of meat, you still won't be able to eat enough to see its performance-enhancing effects, as you would have to eat approximately one kilogram of raw beef daily to even come close. Hence why it is such a popular dietary supplement, since about 95% of your body's creatine is stored in your muscles. By supplementing, you increase your natural stores of phosphocreatine. This is a form of stored energy in the cells as it helps your body produce more of a high energy molecule called ATP. ATP then helps you perform better during workouts and alters multiple cellular processes that lead to increased muscle mass, strength, and recovery. Creatine is the most well-researched sports supplement with over 700 human studies. However, the effect of the supplement on hair loss has been actively discussed in the recent years, to the point of creating many myths about creatine causing male pattern baldness. However, all myths have a foundation. Something interesting that a lot of people don't know that we feel like we need to point out is that creatine is also used in hair treatments to restore hair fibers and increase their strength. It is widely believed that creatine in the hair has the same function as creatine. This statement is strengthened by the fact that almost all keratin-based products contain a certain amount of creatine to enhance its performance on strengthening the hair fibers. So the next question becomes, does creatine contribute to male pattern baldness by increasing DHT levels? DHT, as we all know, is an androgen, a sex hormone that contributes to the development of what are thought of as male sex characteristics such as body hair. However, an increase in DHT levels means losing your hair faster and sooner. Sadly, this isn't a question that has been directly investigated in scientific literature, and you will see what I'm talking about in just a minute. The study conducted in 2009 tried to reveal a link between creatine and baldness. The study analyzed the effects of creatine on 20 rugby players, which found that taking 5 milligrams of creatine a day for 2 weeks increased DHT levels by 50%. So in theory, this should be a firm argument to state that creatine boosts DHT levels. How However, weight training has been shown to boost DHT levels by 15% even without supplementation. The 2009 study had a significant impact on this topic. However, the detailed analysis leads to the conclusion that there is insufficient evidence to claim that creatine is a direct cause of hair loss. The study was conducted on a small group of only 20 people, all with the same characteristics. Even though an increased DHT level was detected, there were too many variables that hadn't been taken into account like if the increased DHT was permanent, or if these 20 individuals had a genetic predisposition to male pattern baldness. So as a conclusion, until there is new scientific evidence, we cannot confirm that creatine causes male pattern baldness. We can only speculate on the possibility that those who are genetically predispositioned to DHT are at risk of accelerated hair loss. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It really helps us out. If you're looking for more tips on hair growth, beard care, and beard grooming, you can check out our website, HairGC. It's pretty awesome. It'll be linked in the description box down below for anything and everything hair and beard related. My name is Yu, and as always, people, have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.